First, it was getting to know each other. I'm Labahang Maliti. I'm from Bukoni Technical Secondary School, and I'm doing electrical technology. I'm Jacob Zuma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nisha Mavlani. I attend Bursley World School. I'm, I'm in grade 9. I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure whether I agree with grade 9s, that you are doing nothing. <laughs> you are doing grade 9. Then questions ranging from education to safety. Mr. President, I'm very petrified about the Boko Haram incident. As a South African girl child, I was wondering if such an incident took place in South Africa, what are the steps that will be taken to ensure our safe rescue? Such an incident will never happen in South Africa. No. <laughs> <clears throat> never. These incidents happen under certain circumstances. I don't think the circumstances in this country will allow that. But let us assume <clears throat> the impossible happens. A girl child like yourself is taken away. We'll never sleep. We'll never sleep. We'll look for you until we find you. In provinces such as Limpopo, children are walking long distance to school while others cross, cross rivers. So what I would like to know is that what can the government do to help those children? That indicates development is not yet enough in the rural areas. <clears throat> That's an issue we're discussing. How do we provide, firstly, uh, transport? Uh, how do we also bring schools closer uh, where we need to? It's a matter that we are looking at because it, it is a terrible situation. Zuma encouraged the girls to pursue their goals, even if it is to the highest office in the country. Work and de demonstrate the, lead, the, the, the quality of a leader, the leadership qualities, you would. In the ANC, there is no doubt that uh, perhaps <clears throat> in a few decades, even lesser than a decade, who knows, you could have a woman uh, president. The Take a Girl to Work campaign exposes girls to a working environment and an opportunity to make informed career choices. Lehana Tsutiti. SABC News, Union Building, Pretoria.